Tony Mumbo. Um, McKenna, uh, McKenna, oh, gosh. <laughs> McKenna. Quad Block and McKenna Dixon. I'm Ron Howard. <laughs> We're from Donovan School, and uh, we've all lost somebody to suicide. So um, in the last two years, we've had three suicides at our high school, and so after our most recent one, our initial response was to have Jody McVitie from the University of Washington come to educate us on like what should we do to prevent this from happening again. So she had educated us on how the teenage brain works, tools to help our, uh, people in our community, who's at risk, and tattling versus reporting, where tattling is getting someone into trouble, whereas reporting is getting someone out of trouble. Um, following Dr. McVitie's presentation, we started a community suicide prevention task force. Uh, we began having uh, monthly meetings at the high school, and we've uh, created a mission statement with a list of goals and objectives. We developed a uh, partnership with a local nonprofit, and uh, we decided that our education is key. Um, key information we learned about suicide is that stigma keeps people from getting help. Um, and the myths about, stu uh, about suicide perpetuate the stigma. Uh, three, uh, three factors necessary for a suicide to occur are a uh, failed sense of belonging, a uh, 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 perception of being a burden, and a uh, diminished fear of one's own death. Um, in response to Jody McVitie's presentation, we've decided to enhance her original program model with a more structured path in which students or troubled students can follow to receive help. And with that, we have added on to her original school counselors to local coalition, and we've added peer helpers to then trusted adults, where trusted peer helpers can provide support to students and peers around them in which they feel comfortable around, which will then lead to the peer helpers informing a trusted staff member in our school that will then know what to do with the information they're given. Um, the role of the peer helper, helpers will be to be there for our peers, support them, um, and refer them to trusted adults if we hear that they're having suicidal thoughts or they just need help. Um, we'll be making ourselves available to our peers and um, we'll create connections within our groups between like all the groups in our schools. Um, as a result from this task force, we have created a symbol that we hope that to represent hope and a safe person to talk to and a safe place to go. We're hoping that this symbol will go viral and help students realize that there is hope. And it'll be used like the LGBTQ rainbow. So what we've accomplished so far is a group of students have attended the Washington, Washington State Prevention Summit. Um, we got our principal on board with everything so that we can get the staff, staff trained in um, August before school starts. A total of 27 students received um, the Safe Talk training by YSPP. Um, and we have monthly countywide uh, meetings. And there's been an increased involvement from students from other schools too. So our next steps um, is to continue getting um, people trained and continue education because with everything changing, we're, and with, um, we're hoping that we break the social norm and stigma that we want to just keep ourselves updated on the best ways to um, promote awareness throughout the community and become more connected with the other high schools as well as advertising our symbol of hope. Thank you. Hmm.